you call me sometimes nine nine thirty at night. Good. Yeah, yeah. I said, I, I, go give me a can of of uh, stewed tomatoes, will you? How do you want with stewed tomatoes? He said, well, he says, I didn't get sick. I didn't like what they had for supper, so he said, I didn't eat. Oh. I just, I brought him a can of stewed tomatoes, and he said, all right. So I said, I'm going home. It's all right. And I came over there one afternoon to visit him, and he opened up a thing next to a cupboard that he had to stuff it. Must have been about eight, nine cans of stewed tomatoes there. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> I looked at him. I didn't say anything to him. Yeah. Then I, his wife, I called up. She said, "Is anything I can do for her?" Sure. So I asked her about it. Sure. She said, that, "He said, don't let that bother you." He said, "He called about six or seven people, bringing soup tomatoes, but he never had any way of cooking them." I said, "I don't know." What a character, huh? Yeah. Sure, they got a medal at times, don't you think? She ought to get a medal. Oh, yeah. He, he broke her. He broke her. They lost the trail and everything because of him. Yeah, down there, down yeah. there, down there. That, yeah. That's unreal down there, though, you know what? Oh, it is. It uh, is. But, uh... God, what, $5,000 a month? Just about. Get yeah. that off, huh? Yeah. He, she used to get a nurse to come in to take care of him. Yeah. And, yeah. uh... Oh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't let the nurse do anything. Yeah. He'd put her in another yeah. room and let her sit yeah. there. Yeah. He wouldn't let it take his, uh, you know. He was really something. Oh, well, thank you very much. Hey, boy, well, you'll, you'll get better. I hope so. It's getting better it's now, anyway. Get him down the middle. Yeah. <laughs> Knowing that you're still here for a purpose, I mean, you're, you're contributing something. I mean, whether it's making people beautiful or whatever. But well, I say it every time I have my old people, I say, don't you ever, ever go without the haircut because you can't afford it. I said, you come in, you sit down, you get up, walk up the door, and I said, I'll never call you back. I said, you don't believe it? Try me. We can set our clocks to our loyal customers. You know, the way I especially remember this one guy, he always, right on time, you can set your clock at 10 o'clock. And, uh, and if Tom wasn't in there at 10 o'clock, we'd call him, find out if he's all right, see if he was sick or something, because... Hey, where have you been? We, we, the clock says 10, you're not here. You all right? Yeah, okay, we just want to know. <laughs> it was a dedication, you know what I'm saying, uh, which I miss very much. Because I mean, uh, you know, I've worked with people all my life, and uh, you get involved with them, you know. I mean, you you know, pathetically, even in death, you know, you, when I think back of all my old customers that are no longer with me, it's uh, sad because you, you, you get... Uh, involved with them, you know. For 49 years that we worked together, I can really and truly say I don't think we ever had a descending word between us. You know, we get to be almost like brothers, you know. As I say, we had such a good relationship, we never, I can never ever remember he and I having an argument. That sounds like it's, uh, I'm exaggerating, but it's, it's the truth. I never thought I would ever see the day that I would cut some of the style of haircuts that I have to cut now. If we ever had uh, arthritis in our hands, that'd be it. Our hands have to be so flexible, we just couldn't do it with arthritis. Uh, but I've been very fortunate and very good. It's been good. I guess he wants me around for a while for some reason. But... <laughs> As the caretaker of Frank's story, I often wonder, had I never gone looking for records that day, would there have been someone else intrigued enough with his eclectic barber shop and ad hoc record store to document his life's work? Or could his glimpse of the past have gone overlooked for generations to follow? And what about those 450 barbers? Surely they have some tales to tell. <laughs>